Jason LeDuc, back with you here, helping you become the kind of leader you always wished you had when you were first starting out. And we're continuing our exploration of different leadership styles. We've been doing these for a couple of weeks now, and we're gonna get into one more. We're gonna get into the transactional leadership style. And again, just before we get into it, remember, don't think of these as one style you need to adopt for your whole career or the whole time you're in a certain job. These are tools, tactics, techniques for you to use and adopt and use at the right place at the right time with these leadership styles. You're always trying to build towards your personal leadership style, and these are just tools for you to use. So the transactional leadership style, this is really simple, right? I'm the boss, you do something good, I give you a reward. You do something bad, I punish you in some way. It sounds like you would never really want to use this leadership style, and kind of for most things you don't. The reason is really what you get is a bunch of people who are only doing things for extrinsic motivation, whether that's positive or negative, and they're only doing things because they want to either get a result or avoid a result. And so it leads to lack of creativity, lack of innovation, lack of taking risk. Uh, and basically you get a bunch of people who are not thinking about the big picture. They're only thinking about how they can get their next reward or avoid their punishment. But there are times you may want to use this. When you are newly coming into an organization and that organization is a struggling organization and you need to rebuild trust or rebuild the culture or get people back in the straight and narrow after a really negative incident, you may need to use this kind of style. You may need to dial everything back to day one and say, okay, do good things, get rewards, do bad things, get punished. If you uh, have ever seen the movie 12 O'Clock High? That's a really good example, albeit a very old one, of an organization that had a new leader come in and really had to change how things were doing. And he went through a bunch of negative reinforcement and positive reinforcement to rebuild the culture and the confidence and the morale of that unit. Great movie, really old movie. Check it out, though. They used to make us watch it in the Air Force like every year. So you may want to do that if you need to rebuild trust, if you need to rebuild skill or confidence or competence in an organization, getting started with the transactional ap approach may be a really good way to do this. You see this in basic training in the military all the time. This is where our new recruits come in. They basically get broken down to the very, the very beginning of life. And we tell them, do good things, you get rewards. You get a little more freedom. You get to take a weekend off. You get to have a night off. Do bad things, you will get punished. You'll be doing push-ups. I assume they still do that in the military. That's what they did to us is you'll be doing lots of push-ups if you don't do good things. So if you have to rebuild, if you have to rehabilitate someone, if someone has really done something that needs a lot of discipline and you've got to rebuild trust with them, you may want to start with this transactional leadership style. It's a really good way when something's gone really wrong Trust, competence, confidence needs to be rebuilt to get to the kind of team you want to have where you can use some of these other leadership styles, but you don't want to use it forever. It's really for the very beginning of rebuilding and trying to get back to where you were before. Okay, one more leadership style for you to use. Remember, tools, tactics, and techniques. Do not get wrapped up in having one leadership style for the rest of your career and the rest of your life. You're applying all of these right place, right time to get the result you're looking for. If this was helpful to you, please like, comment, and share. Send it on to someone else if you know they could use it. If you have any comments or questions, slide into my DMs. I don't mind. Love to hear from you. I hope this was helpful in developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.